Since I've gotten a couple of quests to learn how to do this, I might as well make a video on it so that it'll be easier to explain everything. This is going to be a video on how to get um, a custom profile picture on your Nintendo Wii U, so let's go ahead and get right to it. First off, you're going to want to download the Fiddler Proxy. This is the main program we'll be using to um, change the URL for um, the um, custom profile picture to work. You're going to need this fill in any information, um, this won't um, spam you or anything, this, this is a need, I don't, I, don't, I don't know why they need this, but you're also going to need HFS, this is the program we'll be using to host the um, picture, and you're going to need a couple of Nintendo certificates, and you're going to even need an um, image out of the program, paint.net works great. So first of all, let's configure the proxy server to work with um, the Wii U. Once you've got Fiddler Proxy downloaded and installed, you want to um, open it. To um, open it up. As you can see, it should look like this. So now you want to go to the Tools section, go to Options. Go to HTTPS, make sure, capture and click on decrypt HTTPS traffic. You can choose from all processes, but I like to do from remote clients only. And click on ignore server certificates, just in case the cert certificates cause an issue with Fiddler. When, now you want to go to the connections tab and you want to go to... Um, Click on allow remote computers to connect and take note of this port, you will need it later. Hit OK and now we're going to um now um you can close Fiddler now, now that it's all set up. Now we're gonna now first thing, we instead of um manually configuring the Fiddler script, I have a preset one. This script will tell Fiddler to use the Nintendo certificates. So download this custom rules JS, it's in the video description. Then you want to go to your documents folder, go to the go to a folder called Fiddler2, and go to a folder called scripts. Make if you don't see custom rules.js, don't worry, but just replace the file if it's already there. And now Fiddler is mostly configured. Now we're going to download the Nintendo certificates. You want to go to this website here, certs.lastm.xyz, and you want to download the Wii U Common Pod 1 and Wii U Account Pod 1 certificates. This is so that Fiddler will be able to understand the Wii U's connections and will be able to see them. So once you've downloaded them, you want to open, double click and open one of them. You should get the certificate import wizard. Click on current user, next, and next, and if you're prompted for a key, type in Alpine. And click on the checkbox that says mark this key as exportable. Press next, and click on this button to place all certificates in the following store. Click browse, and click on the personal folder. This will make it easier to find the certificates later, as we will need to export them. Press next, and then press finish. Do the exact same thing for the account certificate. Same password, same pass, same, same procedure. And now, type in, now press the Windows key on your keyboard and R, and type in cert mgr.msc and press, and press enter. You should see this window pop up. Now double click onto the personal folder and go to certificates. I already have a lot of certificates here because I've used Fiddler before, but what you're looking for is Wii U Account Pod 1 and Wii U Common Pod 1 by Nintendo CAG Free. Right click on Common Pod 1 and go to All Tasks Export. You should get this window. And now you want to go to your C drive and create a folder called Wii U or Caps Lock. This is where the certificates will be for Fiddler to find them. Now we're back on this thing here. Make sure it's actually all caps and like that. Click on next and do not export the private key. You do not need it. And click on 
and I'm just going to click on base64 encoded x509 press next and for the file name for the common part certificate you want to name it common.cer make sure it's all common.cer or lowercase press next and press finish do the exact same thing for um, account part one Alright, now that we've got Fiddler Poxy set up, it's time to get the photo, it's time to get the image and HTTP server set up. I've already got an image here that I'd like to use. Um, so, open this in an image editor, like paint.net for example. Once it loads, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the image and resize the image to a 128 by 128 image. Make sure it's 128 by 128 pixels and go, go to file, save as and name it something like icon icon and you want to choose the file type as TGA since that is all the way you understand for this kind of thing. Press save and on this screen you want to choose 32 bit and do not compress this image you should and do not compress the image. You should get a preview file size of 64 kilobytes. Press OK, and now you want to download HFS because this is the final program you will need to actually get the image to work on the Wii U. Download it. It is a um, normal EXE file. Um, no, no install needed. So just open it. And what you're going to want to do is drag the um image icon.tga onto this program and now we're ready on the PC side of things now to configure everything on your Nintendo Wii U you want to insert your Wii U's SD card here and you want to download the no SSL patcher for the Wii U this will be needed to decrypt the traffic from the Wii U to your computer you should get a folder, just a Wii U, um, put this folder onto the root of your SD card. And now we are pretty much all ready to go. Now you want to start up Fiddler again. And um, if you are getting a lot of traffic from your main computer, you can... Um, drag this to something like the bottom bar here this way you can't get any traffic popping up from your computer and now I'll meet you guys on the Wii U now on your Wii U gamepad you want to go to um, system settings and I forgot to mention this make sure your Wii U and computer are on the same Wi-Fi network as each other once you're in system settings you want to go to the internet tab and while well, on the screen, press the connection list and choose your Wi-Fi network. Change settings and scroll to the very right to the proxy settings tab. When it says don't use, you want to use it, so tap it. Don't click on configure, so just cl click on configure. And yep, change proxy. And for the proxy server, you want to type in your computer's local IP address. You can get this on your computer by typing in this command right here. You can type in cmd down here. And on this one, you can type in ipconfig. Look for the um, IPv4 address. And you'll be using that for your proxy server. I'm right, back on your Wii U, type in your proxy server and the default port for Fiddler is 8888. Make sure that's set. And tap confirm. Do not use basic authentication, you don't need it. And tap save and then perform a connection test.
This will take a bit. And that means now the proxy is working. Now back to the computer. Okay, so um so um now um now that we're almost ready now we're almost ready to change the picture. You may notice at this point, um if I switch over to the Wii U here real quick. That um at this point now that we have the proxy set up, we can't access any server we can't access any online services. Because um the proxy because this we because the proxy is still because the proxy cannot read the Wii U um, packets yet, um, requests yet. This is why we got the NSSL patcher earlier so that the um, proxy can read everything. So, what we're going to want to do now is that I'm going to read this. We're going to want to go to, um, sorry, we're going to want to go to the um, homebrew launcher using your preferred method. And make sure you have the nurses or patcher files on your SD card. Also, I forgot to mention, you can tell if it's work you set up properly if you see contest.nintendowifi.net and a bunch of Nintendo.net domains pop up on your proxy. That's how you can tell that you've got it set up properly. Anyway, you want to go to um the homebrew launcher on here using your preferred method. If you have TMISU, you have to boot into it through the Wii U menu. Booting into the homebrew launcher through TMISU won't make the patch work properly, so make sure you do that. Find a no the NoSSL patcher program here and um, tap and press load. It's a pretty simple program, just it'll back you out to the homebrew launcher. And give me just one sec to resize this, if I can. I'll put this down to the corner here. There we go. That, that, that works. Um, as you can see, we might still count on .nintendo.net, but when we back out to the um, home menu on Fiddler, you should start seeing HTTPS traffic pop up. If you see um, HTTPS traffic pop up, um, that means it's working. You can see stuff like V1 API admin time. So now we are now ready to go. Um, what you're gonna want to do at the bottom part of Fiddler here, you see this black box. You want to click in it and type it in BPU. Um, this is already shown here because I've done this before, but HTTPS colon dot oops, backslash me dash secure and press enter this will break point any um, me secure domains which is exactly what we want now now that we've already got this set up you want to go to um let me I'm just gonna keep down there you wanna go to um the me icon in the top left and click on switch user and choose your account again As you can see now that we've got the me secure domain, you've got to be quick on this. Once you've got this, you're going to click on wall and type in the file name for your icon earlier. Or if we look at our server, it's icon.tga. Um, yeah, it's normal. Um, okay, um, type in icon.tga, make sure the slash is still there. And for the host, type in your computer's local IP address. Save and click on run to completion. And um, if you if we look on the pop the um, server here, we got the request. And now, to see if it worked, let me quickly resize this. And now, if we press home, the custom profile picture is now set. You should have a custom profile picture. Um, if you don't get if it doesn't update or you get the blank user icon, meaning that it just doesn't work. It could mean a couple things. Um, you put the, you saved the TGA file incorrectly, or you were, or you set the server incorrectly. As you as you as you may notice, it only appears on the home button menu. Let's fix that. 
go to go into any app like the app, like the daily log for example if I quickly get out of it There's main earth, the icon already updated on the, on the daily log, and now we have the icon on the home menu and everywhere else. If we go to the user list on this console, we've also got the icon. So, yeah, that's pretty much how to get a custom Wii U icon um, for your user me or daily log or whatever, pretty much. This will not work on front. Might as well quickly tell you that this does not work on front list because, um, of how profile pictures work, it doesn't work on fun list. Let me quickly show you that. Taking a little bit, I don't know why though. As you can see, yeah, custom profile pictures don't work on fun list. So um yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or need help, let me know and I'll help you out. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.